I'm using my Android phone app to show you how to use a protractor app. Um, I know students like to use this, but it's really complicated and I, I tend not to want them to use it because I know that they're getting the wrong measurements. Um, it, it's not, it's, it doesn't work the way you think it would work. Um, so here I've got pulled up a picture from the interwebs of hip flexion. Um, you can see, uh, I, I chose this one because you can see where the goniometer is aligned. You can see that the movement arm is aligned, bisecting the axilla. The um, fulcrum is placed over the greater trochanter. And the uh, movement arm is in line with the lateral femoral condyle. Um, I've got this uh, this up. And if I align my um, protractor with the same angles, you'll see here I get... Um, let's see about there. I get about 285 degrees. Well, he, he has not moved through 285 degrees of hip flexion. So I know that that's not right. This is probably just a little bit over 90 degrees here. Um, so now I'm just going to switch and see what happens. And now you can see that it's measuring the angle between his thigh and his upper body. It says 76.8 degrees, but that also is not the correct measurement because that is not the range of motion that he has moved through. That is the range of motion that is left in that 180 degrees. So I'm gonna try instead to move this one down and um, the opposite way. You could see it's reading 255 degrees, which also is just way too high. You could see that the red part, that's the part that's measuring on the outside. So I'm going to switch these landmarks again, and you can see that the landmark is on the inside. What I'm doing is instead of measuring up the um, the midline of the axilla, I'm following the midline of the body down in the other direction. And now I'm aligning. Um, I'm still over the, the greater trochanter for the fulcrum, and I'm still over the lateral femoral condyle for the movement arm. And now you can see it's reading 105.2 degrees. This is the way that you're going to measure it. So... Um, you need to think about in terms of like, where did my limb start? What range of motion did it move through? And where did it end? So um, think of your start position and your start position needs to be zero degrees, right? Here we go. Well, as close to zero as possible. They move through that range of motion and I'm capturing that inner portion. So this is about 105 degrees of hip flexion. Um, I, might, I might do another example just so that you can see. I've pulled up another image here, and this one's gonna be easier to use because the goniometer is placed in the same places that I'm going to place my protractor app. So I'm gonna place the um, fulcrum over the lateral, uh, the uh, electron process. Uh, this one goes straight up, and then the movement arm is gonna go in line with the styloid process. And I've got about 44.6 degrees of shoulder internal rotation here. Um, so this one worked out, and again, this is why I don't like it, because sometimes it's going to work out and sometimes it's not gonna, it's not going to work out. Um, for this one, it's important to think about where am I starting and where am I finishing and aligning the protractor at that starting range of motion and then the movement or the, the second measurement with the end range of motion. Um, I hope this is clear for you.